Queensland closes the border. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian Heiser here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your shine of coffee for this breaking news. Queensland has closed the border with New South Wales and ACT. Now before we go through this article, let's just jump over here to Google Earth. And, well, this is going to be quite challenging. This is going to be quite challenging to close this border. If anyone's familiar with the border between Queensland and New South Wales, we'll just zoom in here and you can see how... You know, it's not really that clear. There have been calls, actually. There have been calls to push, pull the border down here, down to the river, to move the border down to the Tweed River, which is, frankly, I think, a sensible idea because that's a border you could actually manage and mitigate. And, you know, all this here, you know, the upper, the upper northern New South Wales could become quite part of Queensland. We'd accept you. We'd accept you. It'd be fantastic. I mean, we actually, Rachel and I actually got married here. It's a beautiful area down here, really beautiful. But let's zoom in. Let's zoom in to have a look at the border here. You can see, you know, here we go. It's all all running pretty sensible. And boom, right here through the airport. So the airport crosses the border. So you go from one state to another, and you go along the highway here, drive underneath the runway, and you've got here we go. Here's the border. Here's the border. So you've got a point here. We've got here driving over the border. You, got, you know, someone's backyard is in the border or not. Water tower here. And you can see here, boom, here's the border as well. Along this road. It's along the center here. So if you're driving on one side of the street, you're in Queensland. On the other side, you're in New South Wales. So how are you going to, how are you going to manage that? What if you've got friends over the street? What if you need to go to the milk bar across the road? What if you're here and you want to go to the shops? If you keep going along, then it, it you know pivots over here so we got these buildings here in Queensland these ones here in New South Wales here you're in New South Wales at Twin Towns just across the street you're in Queensland so you know here we go L luckily the border doesn't go down here so you don't have these poor people chopped off but you can just see how permeable this border is one side of the street are these one-way streets <laughs> they are they are a one-way street so so how are you going to get back to here if this is the one-way street? Because normally you'd drive up along here and you'd come down. You know? And you'd come down. So how's, how's that going to work, everyone? So if you leave your house here, you'll, you'll never be able to go back. You'll have to walk. You'll have to walk. You'll have to live off the Twin Towns. Live off the Twin Towns. So you can see how permeable this border is down here, down at Cool and Gatter and Tweed Heads. It's, it's, half the time you can't even tell which state you're in. When you're there and if you're not familiar with it so it's going to be hard to manage this it really will be it really will be so let's have a look through this article so the queensland border new south wales and act banned from entering queensland from august of 8th so you've still got a few days guys a few days to stock up queensland premier anastasia palaszczuk has announced the border with new south wales and the act will be closed this saturday Queensland Premier has announced the border with New South Wales will be closed from 1 a.m. on the August the 8th. Speaking to media on Wednesday, Ms. Palaszczuk said both jurisdictions presented a concerning situation, which led to the decision to close the border from this Saturday. In New South Wales, we are continuing to see cases each day, and this is of great concern to Queensland, she said. I can now confirm that our Chief Health Officer is declaring New South Wales and ACT a hotspot. Well... Technically, I'm meant to be in a hot spot here in South Brisbane. You know, the Sunnybank area is meant to be a hot spot. You got the girls over at, I think, where was it, Acacia Ridge, where they came in. So we can't go to Northern Territory anyway. This will take, this will take uh, immediate effect from Saturday. This is the right thing to do. I know it's going to be tough on Queenslanders, but uh, your health comes first. The See, this is the thing. It's always pandering to, to our health and, and safety. These, these are ways to justify significantly curtailing people's freedoms. I mean, just jumping over these borders, guys. This is, this is How are they going to police this here in New South Wales? Really, should, we should pull it back to this river here, shouldn't we? Or even further south. What about here? What do you think? We'll give them Condon. You know? Chindara, we'll take everything north. 
you know, give him finger or head, everything from there. Should be really be part of Queensland. Put the border, you know. What do you what do you think? Let me know in the comments, guys. The announcement comes as the state of Queensland reports one new case of the pandemic in the past 24 hours, bringing the state's active cases to 11. That doesn't seem concerning. We need to protect not only our health, we need to protect the families, we need to protect our economy. Well, you're destroying the economy. You, uh, how? How? There's a lot of cross-border trade happening there. We've seen what happened in Victoria. We don't want to see that, hap that happening here. The Queensland government last week announced they would ban anyone from Greater Sydney from entering the Sunshine State, saying the decision was in response to the growing number of, of clusters in New South Wales. I will not risk the safety of Queensland, as Ms Palaszczuk said, noting residents were at risk if a hard border wasn't put in place. And I will not risk our economy. We've seen that Victoria is not getting better, and we are not going to wait for New South Wales to get worse. We need to act. Today is the day that I say to Queenslanders, we have listened to you. We are concerned about what is happening in the southern states, and today is the day that we say we are putting Queenslanders first. This is a life and death, death situation here, she said. Look what's happening in Victoria. People can't even see their loved ones who are dying in nursing homes. Deputy Premier Stephen Mil Miles said, as well, here's the thing. <clears throat> here's the thing. People die in nur nursing homes and it's not, like, it's not like the movies where the whole family is around. Sometimes people will pass and you won't be there. My, my father died in his sleep. You know, they woke up, he was fine, and then an hour later, he was gone. That's what happens, everyone. Life isn't like a movie. People die in nursing homes and they can't see their family sometimes. You, you need to, that's why you need to make an effort to visit your family. So the last memories you have of them are fond ones. That's what I have. That's part, that's how to prepare. Come on. This, this is, I know it's done to get an emotional response. I know people will respond to this from an emotional basis. They'll be concerned and scared. That's why this is done. And people were willing to give up their freedoms to kind of mitigate that fear. Deputy Premier Stephen Miles said Australia was experiencing a second wave of the pandemic, which they didn't want to see sweep into Queensland. We're doing the right thing to keep Queenslanders safe, he said. This is a hard closure. The road border between Queensland and New South Wales will be closed to all, but a limited number of exemptions, freight and those who live in border communities. Okay, so hopefully that means the Tweed and Gatta will still have the ability to move over from one side to the other. And hopefully my beef will arrive. As of 1am Saturday, Queenslanders coming home will have to fly into Queensland and if they have cars organize alternative arrangements chief health health officer Jeanette Young said now that is probably the most insane thing all of this if you're out of Queensland if you've driven out you are forced to fly home and you've got to make other arrangements for your car how do you even do that let, let me know in the comments how you handle that I, I've got no idea and you're gonna have to park your car somewhere and then you get tickets will the Queensland government pay for it you have to quarantine for two weeks when you fly in from these states. It's getting, getting a little crazy, isn't it? It's getting a little crazy. Let me know your thoughts and opinions, guys. Do you live down in the south coast? Do you live in Tweeds? Tweed or Coolangatta? Would you like to become part of Queensland? You know, everything north of, you know, Benora Point up above should have just become part of Queensland. You know, um, or Mwilumba, Moba. Should we? No, you can keep that. You can keep that here. What I'll do is I'll 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 just hide the border. Here we go. Let, let's do this now. Let's have a bit of fun. We'll sort out this border, guys. Okay. So what we'll do is we can curl. Yep. Yeah, we'll take that. We'll go here. Boom. 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 There we go. Done. Nice and simple. What do you reckon? <laughs> Let me know. Your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Do you think this will impact, you know, your life down in New South Wales or in, or in the Gold Coast or in Coolangatta? Do you think this is necessary or a step too far?
As always, let me know your thoughts and opinions. If you're a fan and want to support the content I create here, there are a few ways you can. You can join the channel on YouTube or Patreon. You can support us using our affiliate links at Amazon, eBay, Independent Reserve, or KuCoin. You can buy a merch from Heiser Says, use Gold Pass from the Perth Mint, or support us via PayPal. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.